Well, I'm the Vice President of Claims and Risk Services, so therefore I oversee the uh, claims department, all the member insurance claims. Um, I also oversee loss control services where we uh, come out to the stores, walk through the stores, help to find ways to uh, make it a safer work environment for employees and for customers. Uh, I also oversee our uh, toolbox website. Over 25 years I've been associated with member insurance in one capacity or another, uh, different titles throughout the years, but uh, always tied to claims. Well, what I find unique about it is that we're actually uh, owned by the members. They actually own the, the member insurance, so we look at the insureds, the members, as our bosses. Uh, we have a dedicated claims unit that specializes in this niche market of hardware stores and lumber yards. And uh, we've got a 24-7 um, call center. Uh, we have different uh, products that we offer only to our members, such as our toolbox website. Uh, we have uh, three free hours of legal service um, for each policy period. Uh, we have a help desk, um, just to mention a couple of them. Go, go to our toolbox website uh, for safety uh, materials. There's over 25,000 um, documents on it. Uh, and links to other websites to help people understand uh, OSHA guidelines, um, safety in, in every industry. Uh, if they're just retail, they can pick just retail. If they're lumber yards, it kind of specializes in lumber yards, so they can pick which industry they're actually in, including rental. So, um, also, uh, it, when in question, when you're ever questioning something, whether it's the right thing to do or not, uh, utilize the three hours of free service from uh, our, the national law firm that we use, uh, that we've partnered with. Um, ask them, you know, should I take this or should I not? You know, uh, if you're writing up a contract, you know, is this, this wording of this contract good enough or not? So, if you think ahead and try and use some of these services, you can usually reduce your chance of losses. And if you have less losses and you um, are doing everything properly, it will affect your premiums. Every store should have a safety guidelines and safety plans and for their employees uh, to let them, all their employees know what, they, what you as a store owner expect of them to keep them safe and also to keep your customers safe. Um, they should be updated um, and looked at. Um, you never want to create something 30 years down the road be open and have the same uh, guidelines sitting there and uh, they've changed over the years. So uh, you want to make sure that you have your guidelines. Our toolbox website, if you ever have a hard time with uh, trying to figure out what a safety guideline is or what, how to put one together, it's very simple. Just go to the toolbox website and we have a template there that will walk you straight through it. Well, it goes to our members um, with member insurance, so they, they actually sign up through us, and as soon as they become insured with member insurance, we give them access with their, uh, through their policy to the, to, to the Toolbox website. They, they can go to the, uh, the Toolbox website, they can figure things, um, look at the problems that they have with stores or some of their neighboring uh, member uh, stores have, some of the issues, and try and work a, a safety plan together to um, prevent these losses from occurring. So um, you can't prevent every single loss, but at least you can do is reduce them. Always, always, we're always open to um, any questions that they may have um, with our dedicated claim staff. They're dedicated only to member insurance. So they um, aren't handling, you know, competitors' claims or anything like that. They're handling only member insurance claims. So they, they've got the time and the experience to help people through their losses. We've had uh, a very large fire recently. Um, a few years ago, um, and it uh, totaled the store, took out an entire city block, it was in Illinois, and uh, basically took out an entire city block, okay? And we were able to help that insured get back up and running right away, because when their business shuts down, it's not like corporate America. I mean, there's no money coming in, there's no money coming in. And uh, when the, door, the store was burned to the ground, there was no money coming in. There's, you know, family relies on this. Uh, this is their business, the family business. So we were able to get them back up and running within a couple weeks um, so that the business could keep going while the store was being rebuilt. We were able to move them to a new location, uh, get the business up and running again, um, provide them with uh, advances on their claim so they can get the money to start paying the contractors to rebuild. Uh, the business interruption coverage, we were able to keep the income rolling just like the business was still going on. So that was a couple years ago and that was a close to a six million dollar fire. So member insurance was, you know, born by the co-op. Okay, we were created by a co-op and we understand the co-op mentality. And so therefore we understand that when a family owned and operated store has a loss, then it directly affects that family. Okay, and we're there to help that family.